Greetings guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to Botany Snippets with Kate. <laughs> the, the title is just evolving over the week as I'm saying it. So today's question is what to do when your cactus has taken on too much water. Or the more traumatic, oh no, is my cactus gonna die? Which I bite. Let's be honest. I don't know the circumstances in which your cactus took on water. It might well not be among the living for much longer, if it's still there at all. So, yeah. Uh, because they can have complications regardless of how relatively stable and somewhat unkillable they are. It's just a fact. Basically, because it's a a cell wall situation, as I'll, I'll link the playlist that I've been working on for the last week up there, but pretty much if your cactus has taken on too much water, the cell walls have let in water and it's a one-way system, so because the cactus has evolved to not let water escape in the desert environment that it's native to, the water can't escape. So if possible, you might want to repot the cactus into more sandy soil. Sometimes that helps. Sometimes if you've overwatered it, or even if you haven't overwatered it, but if there hasn't been enough drainage, then that can happen. And I'll put in a couple of pictures if I can find them of one of my cacti that has some visible water damage, but has progressed past that. But if you start seeing like wrinkles in pads that were flat or kind of just wavy structures that aren't supposed to be wavy, because there's some cacti that look like a brain, there are some that really don't, so you know, there's that know what you're working with and act accordingly, basically. But as part of the, um, absorption process, it's just taking in whatever possible in order to have water available to create flowers and everything else, because Water is needed by a cactus, but more than occasional spritzes or like a light rain shower could be fatal to it. Especially if it's in captivity, because most of the time, if it's a captive living cactus, it's in a pot, and a lot of pots don't have adequate drainage. So you need to make sure when you're potting up your cactus that there's enough sandy soil for it to work with and enough drainage. You might want to add a couple of big rocks in there depending on the size of the pot and the size of the plant because they will grow a lot. But at the end of the day, aside from just letting it sit there and like if, if you've noticed something, don't water your cactus for like at least a couple of weeks, a month, maybe two, and see if it starts to kind of recuperate. There might be lasting scarring, like mine up here. I know the base for mine it has been brown for the last two, maybe three years, and that's a result of the overwatering, and but has grown a lot since then. Also what you can do is, now I haven't tried this, but if it's really bad, especially at the base, but the top is still okay, you can take a sterilized knife and especially if it's a really sharp knife because otherwise you'll mess with the um, xylem and phloem content in there, but you can take a slice across the cactus to separate the top half that's still 
pliable from the bottom half that's been decaying, especially in the case of root rot. And cactus cuts, if you will, form roots. You just have to let them for a bit. So when you cut it, it's going to be like open and fleshy and everything. So just let that dry <coughs> and then you can start trying to help that piece grow roots and discard the rest of it. And that's especially useful if you found like fungus or anything around the root system. Sometimes there's mold and at that point you have to toss the entire batch of soil. That especially happens if there's not enough drainage and you've watered and the water just kind of sits there. It can get moldy so just be aware of that. <clears throat> but aside from just waiting to see what happens and uh, going in with a knife and physically cutting it from the base where the, the roots are and everything. Sometimes cacti just die. It's rare because they're relatively self-sustaining, but sometimes they die. And as much as the botanist in me really doesn't like that. It happens. I think everybody has had a couple of houseplants that didn't quite make it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so, there's that. Hope that helped. And yeah, as usual, all my links and social media stuff and the podcast info are linked in the description down below. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you're actually subscribed because YouTube. There's the last video that I uploaded up here, also about cacti, and something YouTube thinks you might like over there. And down here is the link to my second channel where I do basically anything that's not plants. <laughs> And sometimes things with plants, just because it's me and ethnobotany and stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Hope you're having a great... What day is it? Hope you're having a great Thursday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Alright. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.